Oh right, uh, what's going on guys? Moxification here, so today um, I've got a discussion and a topic for a, a sort of individual scene or group of people that um, I, I'm sort of about on like, like on usual terms with, uh, hopefully that makes sense. But uh, th this video goes to a specific scene or a specific group of people um, that I am somewhat a part of. So, uh, yeah, so, this is, let me, let me load up the menu, let me go into a game, link in split screen, uh, not split screen, system link, and I'll, I'll just stick it on a map, uh, here we go, I'll just do, un uh, unlimited and unlimited, so, uh, this is a menu for MW2 that I've, I've, I've released, uh, it's the aspect modding menu, but with some edits in there, it's just infections, basically, that are in the, um, that's in here, you know, it's just, that's the only addition, uh, I think, yeah, I changed the design, it's like red and black instead of blue and black, uh, so essentially in the infections, you've got full host, full host plus low health, uh, extras, kev, and kev plus very low health, so, and, and trick shot as well, and the other two are just nothing yet, because I haven't updated this at all, um, but essentially, this menu, I, I'll, I'll put a link to the original video in the description, um, so you can take a look at it, but essentially, uh, when I released this menu, I, I released it because uh, just a lot of people wanted the Kev. Uh, the Kev is a... It's essentially like an Azalobby, but for snipers, it's not as terrible as an Azalobby, but it's still it's still looked at as faking clips. It's still frowned upon like within the sniper community. Um, it's, just, it's just an unlimited lobby. It just makes the game an infinite lobby. So it's like, um, let's say you've got a map that, you know, snipers like, for example, Terminal Domination, which is something that people like to play. If you see it and you're a sniper, you, you usually stay. Um, in the same way that if you see um, a Scrapyard, an SND, and a Six Man, you'll stay. It's like sort of that sort of thing. Or even uh, Terminal or High Rise, you know, uh, Search and Destroy, you'll stay. Um, it's like one of those sort of things. Um, but let's say, you know, you've only got, if it's Domination or Terminal, it's only going to last. The game's only going to last maybe uh 15 minutes if that you know like on domination so it just makes the game last longer when i say longer i mean infinitely longer so how it works is um there's a couple of divas in mw2 at the moment i mean they, they they've been there forever it's just only been discovered recently within the past year but um a, a guy called kev he's called psycho kev he's not really about anymore he still plays but i haven't seen him on cod recently he's only been playing like games on xbox one uh that's when i've been seeing him playing anyway but um he thought it'd be sick to make something where the game just goes on forever so how it works is when you call in a nuke uh and that person you called in a nuke dies um, the nuke thing goes away, and the game just, it lasts forever, so it's like, you know when you call in a nuke, and you kill the person, it's like, last, um, the game carries on going, uh, it's kind of like that, but when, when you kill the person, the noise goes away, and like, the HUD element of the nuke thing, like, the number thing, goes away as well, so the game just goes on forever, um, and the, the nuke's just gone, but the game carries on going, so, um, uh, I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd explain that really quick because a lot of people seem to ask, you know, what is the Kev? But this video is on Force Host, and you can probably tell by the title. Uh, I think I'll just name it Force Host. I think I might just call it Force Host, and it's the people, the people who this applies to, will watch this and wonder what it is. And you're probably watching right now, thinking, you know, why is he talking about this? on you know a channel where it's just people who like modding or mods or whatever but this does apply to other people as well and uh, I, I just thought I'd have an open discussion with people um, because I thought it'd be a cool idea so um, full toast right now is a big thing a lot of people are frowned upon for using it um, a lot of people are frowned upon for using the kev a lot of people are frowned upon for using so many different mods you know like it, it's just like a thing you know it's like um, it, it, it's quite a, gr a grim scene, but uh, mainly in the sniper com community, I mean, a lot of, there's still probably people who trick shot who use full host as well, but it, it, some, for some reason it matters in the sniper scene, it, it seems to matter if you're using full host or not, um, but th the thing about full host for me is that full host, I'd say, is fine to use, I, I, 
I personally don't care. Like, it's just like, me, I'll use the Kev, whatever. Don't care. You know, like, I really don't. Um, but I can see how other people are not allowed to use, you know, the Kev. I can see how a lot of people are not allowed to use Force Host. But, um... When it comes to Force Host itself, I think people should be allowed to use it. Because there's there's so many positives and negatives of using it. Like, there's not... I'd say there's no... Not really negatives in, like, real negatives. But there's a lot of positives that are actual positives. So, I, I'll get to that in a sec. So, uh, when I say there's not really that many real negatives, what I mean by that is there's negatives such as people look down upon you. Like, you're like a... I don't know, I don't know how to describe, like, people look down upon you for using it, like, you're doing it, like, for for bad purposes, but Force Host is actually really helpful in a lot of ways, um, let's say, for example, you have bad internet connection, that, it's not going to fix it, you're, you know, people who use Force Host and they've got bad internet connection, it's not going to work out how, you know, you would think, you know, like, it, if, you, if you have a bad internet connection and you're Force Hosting, it's not going to be good. They're just not going to connect to you. You know, so it doesn't like just automatically make you the host of every single game you join. People have to actually connect to you first, if that makes sense. So it's like people have to connect to you. Not only do they have to connect to you, they have to stay in your game as well. So it's like if if they're lagging, they, they can leave. It's not like they, they have to stay in your game, you know. Um, sure, you can map pick. Uh, that's that's definitely a positive. Uh, some would say it's a negative because it means that you have to, you, you know, it means that you could just play Terminal Dom 24/7, or you could play uh, High Rise TDM, ev you know, every second of the day. You totally could. That's maybe a positive and a negative because, like, you know, it's like it's the positive for the person using, but it's the uh, it's like a negative for like someone's opinion. But uh, it's also a positive for you're not going to get into a game with a kid spin botting like when i say spin botting i mean i mean technically someone could join your game but you could just leave the game and everything would be good but also you're not you're not going to get into a game with a guy who's deranking everyone or giving uh those corrupted classes a lot of people are doing that now i don't know why i don't know why people are um breaking everyone's classes on mw2 it's it's a terrible idea it's not it, it makes mw2 a lot less playable than it used to be um I just want to ask, just reach out to anyone who's watching this now. If if you play MW2 a lot and you freeze people's classes, please stop. It's not fun. Um, it's it's not fun for the people who play uh, on a regular basis. You know, it's it's not fun for the people who play and you know not not just the people who are getting frozen, but the people who haven't been frozen and want to play against people, but there's no one in their games because they've all been frozen. You know, um, but. But yeah, so I, I just want to reach out to those people who are who are doing it actively on an active day-to-day -day basis. You know, there's a lot of guys as well uh, on MW2 who just spin bot. It's not fun as well. Like if if you ever play MW2 um, and you play Ground War or Search and Destroy or whatever, and you get into a game with a guy who's just you know spin botting, not fun. It's really not fun. And also, I just want to say as well. It's not fun on the other end of it as well. When you're just sitting there spin botting, it's not fun when you're playing as the spin botter as well. So uh, I don't really know why people are doing it. But yeah, so um, but yeah, so uh, another thing for Force Host is uh, obviously there's other infections within Force Host. Like it's not just like Force Host. You know, like usually, like here, you can see uh, in this menu, there's full host and full host low health. Um, full host low health is just full host with low health. You know, like it just means when you kill people, it's not. Um, it's like a one shot, basically. It's like a one shot kill instead of you know hit marker or whatever. Um, it's just. It's probably. Th that's the one thing that people moan about. You know, like where when you get people. Uh, people talking about it like I'll, I'll join a party or a skype call or whatever with my fellow snipers uh it sounds funny but i, I tried to make it sound funny like i tried to make it sound cringy there just thought i'd mention but um but the guys like they're always sort of moaning at each other like oh i know what i want to talk about as well earlier today earlier today i uh, just to say i wanted to make this video for a couple of weeks but uh well a couple of days probably like a week and uh earlier today i was on twitter 
and I was I was looking at there was four people involved in a conversation and it was the most hypocritical conversation ever like it was ridiculous um, I'm not gonna name names I'm not I'm not gonna say who it was specifically but there was there was th uh, three guys who was like involved in this conversation it was basically an argument and then there was another guy who just mentioned something but it wasn't like he wasn't arguing with them with them he was just talking um, and one of the guys is a regular full source user uh, another one of them is a regular kev lobby user but not he doesn't get the kev infection he just he joins kev lobbies um, and then and also cod4 modded like just what I mentioned as well, uh, COD4 lobbies, and then the other guy is also a full source user, so it's like full source, full source, and Kev lobby. So uh, these three guys, they're they're basically like arguing at each other. One of them is saying um, one of their clips at the end of a montage or whatever is in a Kev lobby. The other one's saying no, it's not, and they're basically just all moaning at each other. And it was so ridiculous because it was like, like cause my me personally, because like I know all of them, like you know, because I've infected all of them with different things at different times. It was like they was both like they was all like lying to each other. It was the weirdest thing. It was like one of them was like, "Well, that was a Kev lobby clip, so near," and then like the other one was like, "Well, this was a Kev lobby clip, so near," and I was just like I was thinking in my head like, "But you've used a Kev." thing and you've had the kev and you've had whatever you know like it was just ridiculous stuff on another level i, I don't think i'll ever say who, who it was maybe if you search twitter uh, you might see something i don't know i didn't i didn't reply to them but i'm sure that uh, the people involved will probably know like who i'm referring to um it, as a as a, a quick mention I, I know that the person when i said that there was four guys and one of the guys just put something into the mix but wasn't arguing uh, it was it was a, a guy called yiv and he, he just he put something in i think he said um he said something about uh he was trying to prove that he was trying to prove someone right like it was like dot 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 was not doing this thing at this certain time it was like it was like trying to prove someone wrong or whatever or right or whatever but uh but yeah so i just thought i'd put it out there like it's full source is really helpful in times and it's really not helpful in times when i say not helpful i mean teams look down upon it but really i think people should just be like open to it because full source is is really helpful not it doesn't give you better lobbies you know it doesn't give you better lobbies with um clips like you know if you've got full source it's not like everyone's bots you know it's it's not like you're gonna hit like a 10 multi you know like th the first day um it's, it's not like that at all it's, it's you're still getting the same lobbies it's just you sort of you sort of have a little bit more control over it and like you could you know it's, it's just a sort of the same sort of thing you're just not going to get into a game with a guy who's who's j tagging the lobby or whatever you know um and by the way that's also sort of a joke because people say that quite a lot online but obviously you're you're not j tagging the lobby but yeah so uh yeah so i know this was a weird video proper proper weird i know for a fact that people will probably dislike this but I just wanted to put it out there for that certain scene that certain sniper lobby scene that is really really weird like a really really weird scene but yeah so uh, the only reason I, I wanted to upload this today was because I, I saw that earlier today and I was like what is going on you know like it, it was the weirdest thing um but yeah so and I totally understand it as well um you know people are just doing what they do uh but yeah so uh thanks for watching i know this probably won't apply to any of you it probably won't you probably won't even know what i'm talking about half the time you know with the kev and the full